Welcome back, everybody. This is Josie Krause, and my beautiful guest today is Winnie, whom I love so much. And today we are going to dive into spirit messages, and I will communicate with your loved ones. Whoever is here, I'm so happy to channel these spirits for you. Are you ready, Winnie? Yeah, I am. Thank you so much for your invitation. I'm so glad to be part of your guest. And the first thing I do in my sessions is check in with angels because you have angels, I have angels, and there's a whole network of angelic beings. They are preparing this path for me. I feel very protected and guided doing this work. So right now with angels, I see two angels by your side. And these mm -hmm. angels almost like have, they, did you hear that by the way? It was like mm, something just went through the sound. This is just a, tiniest fraction of a moment but there was like a check in with the sound and that's angels it's their way of letting me know they hear me they work with me we are together so there are two angels with you right now and both of them to me feel like they are presence of wise beings and your angels have intentional guidance i feel strongly that you have been asking the universe for direction asking the universe for guidance and these beings to me it feels like they attract into your life the right people the events and circumstances they want you to know that you're fully protected and you are fully fully guided and they love your daily rituals they see you almost like saying prayer every single day opening up to the universe having your hands in prayer like this that's what they show me and this is their way of just letting me know your prayers are received every single time nothing is ever disappearing into nothingness but they're here and they're saying that every day you're listening you're listening to guidance and they're showing me number seven the number seven has been showing for you a lot and this is to me the sign of the spiritual seeker, someone who seeks like spiritual truths. At this point of your journey, you're really deep, you're seeking these truths. It's like your soul craves these deep spiritual experiences, understanding the meaning of life or why we are here. What's, um, how can you be of service to others? What can you do, how you can bring out your best self? Now, you also have a lot of teacher energies, which also looking backwards, I can look at that timeline and see that you have been a teacher for many lifetimes. So this is a natural gift in you. It's almost like everybody comes into your experience. You are ready to teach them. They're showing me writing emails. So you are now doing a lot of teaching online you are teaching people, so kind of like short messages, emails, you are giving people guidance with, um, with emails, and they also show me envelopes, sending out physical envelopes, correct. packages to other people. Now, that's absolutely, you are doing the right thing, you are on the right path. Now, you, you are discovering this, at this point in your life, you will gain so much that inner wisdom that will translate later into something that you are going to do, something that you will contribute to the world as a service. So many people will be drawn to what you do. It says, I love, I love, I love the energy of what you do. It just feels to me like I want to be part of that. To me, I feel like I want to almost experience what you have to offer. It's a beautiful thing, so keep on going. Now, let's look at with your departed loved ones, one way or another, because one of my strongest spirits on the other side is my own grandmother. My own grandma, believe it or not, she's one of those gatekeepers. She's the strongest spirit who is standing in front of me. And now she is just giving me signs that she has some spirits on the other side that she wants to almost bring forth for me. So I love that. So I'm going to, I'm seeing her right now. She's ready. She's giving me the signal. Okay, I'm ready. So there are three people on the other side for you. Now there's one 
one lady and then there's two men and I'm going to explore their two male spirits they're coming through mm -hmm. and um there's a t name that is coming through the t whether it's a tr or t tr this could be the name or perhaps like a, a last name someone who you can maybe identify so when they're coming through they have animals with them they have animals with them it's almost like they had a lot of different little animals I don't know, like to me, they're like small dogs and then rabbits and then some kind of, they're holding like a handful of these animals. And they're showing to me like the outdoor living, someone who had a lot of like outdoor space for, um, for work, for life, someone who, I don't think it's a, someone who lived in nature, somebody who had like was in the city, but had almost, shared living space with a lot of other people and someone who had lots of dogs like literally someone who had multiple multiple those those little dogs and uh there's a grandmother figure that is stepping forward and she used to work with textiles she shows me that she used to stitch things with her hands and she worked as 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 a someone who, who makes clothes or fixes, you know, clothes. That, that was kind of her primary occupation. And she used to, yeah, she showed me like, she used to cut things with scissors. It was like constantly she had to have a lot of needles and then threads going and she almost had to fix things and lots of textile laid up. It's almost like when she finishes an order, like a custom, custom order for someone, she puts it together in nice and neat manner and it just kind of like a nice pile of things that she was making um she was very good at it she could make so like she shows me right now a white shirt so a very nicely fixed it's really just like she made either helped rich people to or someone who had wealth someone who had a lot of kind of um affluence in their lives and she was either working for them or she was giving them um some kind of material that they used she showed me like a very nice beautiful shirt and she had this is your dad's mother this is the mom of your dad that she's show, showing me right now um she had her head up right here, just like, you yep. know, with a little bun. Yep, like a bun, yep. <laughs> and uh, she has so much love in her. I just love her energy. She's, she shows like, we were very busy people. We were always doing something and she was washing clothes. Was she like, um, what's that occupation? Well, she has to, you know, clean for people and do all kinds of stitching job on, do you, do you know, do you know her at all? Yeah, my, my, actually, you, you, my both grandma, one is, she's very good in uh, stitching. So she used to stitch like blanket, you know, with hand instead of a machine, because they, during the time they don't have sewing machine. So she's really, really good, like cut, cutting pieces, small pieces of clothes like uh, cloak, different colors, and then start stitching. My the other grandma with the bun, she's she's very quiet and always like reserved. Like what you're saying is true. Mm. So I'm glad that you you know you see both of them. So they're both of them here now. Uh, the one who has the bun, she shows me herself by the river or some kind of yep. natural body of water and she had one of those really old ways you know of washing cloth like yep. it's 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 the board with yes. wastings right. and she's like shh, 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 yep. shh, shh. she's a hard working woman yes very much so yes and it wasn't a problem she wasn't burdened by what she was doing it was like that was her life and i feel like she was she was in no way uh, worried about it, anything it was like something was naturally instilled in her it was it was the way she grew up work 
she didn't know any other way. She almost had, she had to contribute to her family in most ways that she could. Uh, they're, they're saying to me, uh, saving money was, a, it's, family was really good with saving money. So unless they had um, the job that would pay in cash because it was like stacks of money. And then your grandmother, grandfather would come and bring like a stack of cash and there, they would agree on a lot of things. I feel like they were a very strong family in the sense that they were not uh, fighting over each other. Like they were not separating emotionally. They were really working together to bring the family, to bring up the family. That's right. Um, she has, you, you have a ring that belongs to her. There's a ring that she shows me that either you or some of the family members have. And it's something that she loved. It wasn't an expensive one, but it was something that she loved. It had a stone in it or some kind of an item of, of jewelry that's on her hand. Because that's what she shows me. It's kind of like a green stone, uh, kind of like a jade. Do probably you should give it to my mom. I'm not sure. I don't have it. Probably maybe my mom has it. Something that maybe you, you want to be curious and ask because she shows me that that was a piece of jewelry that she really loved. This mm. one, it's a ring and I don't feel it's it has so much value, um, money value, but it has emotional value it has so much kind of joy for her and she would she would show me how she would wash it in the water like in in the in the lake in the, in the river she would actually yeah. go in and scrub it so she really loved that piece of jewelry and i feel like one of you maybe your family has it or um someone will know about it um she had some injury before she passed one of your grandmothers she had either hip injury or some kind of a leg related to her mobility is just like something happened whether uh the joints the joint went off she shows me either it was like she was not moving well she was kind of like leaning on on people and and support system to move and she, that was a surgery involved as well someone uh that she says that either they were planning the surgery or she needed a surgery but one way or another, it was just a big question mark. Just a big question mark whether she refused to do it. And there was, there was so much doubt about whether to do the surgery or not. But she had problems with mobility. I feel like it's something to do with her left leg and that she was not moving well from that leg. Yeah, she wasn't wa walking properly. That's, that's correct. Now, is this, is this the grandmother? Is, is, is this from a my father's side? Okay. So is this an M or a T? Because that's, they're giving me now two different names. The first one is a T to me. It's like a family name. Remember in the beginning, I said it was a, a sound to me like a T. It's, it's like a last name or perhaps like a place where you guys grew up or something like this that begins with a T and R. Poss possible because I was very young. Mm -hmm. I don't really remember. I was very young, probably like eight, nine years old. Don't really remember, but I'm very close with her. She's but she's very a close. problem. She very close with you because she. Fe I feel like that's one of your spirit guides, um, who almost overprotective of you. She's over. Now this is your father's mom that is speaking to me right now. Your father's mom was that, is now that spirit for you. And she says, when you were little, you had an injury or someone fell down and broke their teeth. Mm -hmm. Was it you? Some, possible, I don't remember, I think so. She yeah. showed me like some, and then it was like, oh, and then part of the tooth was, 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 miss, was missing. So now your dad is on the other side as well. Is that right? Yeah. So now yes. he's yes. stepping forward. Uh, he passed away in, he's about 60s. He wasn't too old to almost. He, he had passed away 70, 70, 70 something. He recently, just this few months. 
I couldn't attend his funeral. Okay. He was very young looking. I have to yeah. tell you, the way that I see him, He's I feel like he was, man. he was so good looking and he was yeah. like very young. And then now he's it was almost like he's stepping forward. And uh, even by the age standards, some, someone would say he was older, but I feel like he's got very youthful look and he's got so much energy as well. Um, he said there was a family was there to say goodbye to him. The family was there uh, because he, he, he's almost like showing me like a point of celebration, like people celebrating his his departure and not to uh it's it wasn't like um it wasn't a sad event i understand that he passed but so many people rejoiced in the in the sense that he was at peace he was yeah. either under so much suffering lately that yeah. finally he was able to let go and the people's like thank god because he was in so much pain that so many people yeah. already believed it was the best for him to go yeah. as much as they all wanted to be. But he was he was the one in a lot of pain. He says his body was just disintegrating. He was there yeah. was a lot of things that that just bre breaking from the inside. It was some kind of like nerve situation that was damaging his body and not just giving him a sense of movement. Was this like a cancer spread spreading? Was it some no, kind of he's, a disease? He's a stroke patient. He's a stroke patient. So nerves. he gets sick. Exactly. Because yeah. no. I feel like it's the nerves that get damaged sometimes when there's uh, some stages of cancer when it just spreads out and it almost eats the body on the outside. But he shows me the nervous system. And it's like part of the nervous system just stops here and there, just place by place by place almost, yeah. just stopping, moving all together. Yeah. He's and been suffering during his late, late time. He'd been in and out hospital and a lot of pain. And he had multiple stroke at the same time. A lot of pain. Physical. He, passed, he just passed in April? Um, February this year. February. This What's year. his birthday in April? His birthday, July. Early okay. July. No, he just showed me the 26th. Does this number says anything to you? Uh, 16. 16. In South okay. 16. So 216. Um, there's an event that was, that happened in April, towards the end of April, that he really wants to kind of bring your memory back into. So towards the end of April, there was kind of an event related to his passing that was important. And that's the, that's the moment when he said, I closed the book of life. Yes. Something yes. happened. It was like from the day he passed until April. It was now he shows me yes, the end of right. April. He just yeah. showed either his documents. It was all done at like at the end of April. It was like a long thing. But then at the end of April, like a book closes. He said, done. I'm officially off the planet, you know. And then the day that he shows me is mm -hmm. of kind of April. And what I'm saying is that April is my own sister's passing. And this is April 26. So it's this symbolic to me that has something to do with his passing that was almost not over until April or something was going on. And um, very supportive family. I feel like you had so much support with him. A lot of um, men in the family dressed in, in suits, just almost like for the funeral. It was like a very top scale or something that people really kind we were just so kind to him and he felt like that was that kindness that you demonstrated in his passing and he liked to read newspapers <laughs> he said mm -hmm. he had all his life he was he liked to read newspaper that was kind of his routine every morning to sit down and then look through the newspapers he was not the internet guy he says no <laughs> he was like more like reading like the actual newspapers a lot of the stuff that he shows to me was related to the life that he's known in his like a conscious life, for example, like the old things, things that he liked when he was younger. And he said, I like the life was so simple before I could. He said I could pick a tr an apple from the tree, rub it on my my shirt, my shirt and I could eat it. And that was like the best life ever. Life would be like so simple. And that's where he got 
and he they used to like boys were always like running around in these gardens or like orchards you know when they had like apples and all these kinds of things um what is their relationship with brazil mm -hmm. do you know is anything mm -hmm. happening with you perhaps brazil brazil yeah hmm. i've never been to brazil maybe in the future <laughs> Is anyone there now or something going on? No, I don't think so. Okay, so, but you keep that in mind because he does show this to me. Was he ever into going to, I, I kid you not, this is the word that is coming through very clearly. Possibly right he traveled, but I am not. wasn't aware, I'm not sure. Okay. Something, and he's Christian faith. It's just some, something yeah. to do with a lot of the Christian faith. Now he shows me in Brazil, the big Jesus, you know, kind of a thing. Oh, okay. Now yeah. I know what you mean. Because right. when I visit, visited him, he showed me the Bible. He read me the Bible. And then he really, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. It makes sense now. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was now, and I understand the big sign of Jesus. That's kind of his, certain, he just makes a point. It's about the christian yeah. faith um yeah. and he's got a little cross right here and he would just like kiss it which again is my sign that he was connected with like a christian christian community and he was really dedicated to just prayer and all kinds of you know all, almost intuitive connection with god um and then he says orlando that's another place that comes through <laughs> orlando well, Orlando, Florida? Yeah, something to do in the States. I don't know, where, whereabouts are you? Where are you located? I, are you in Florida? No, in New York. I mean, you, have you thought? Possible he's traveling, but I'm not sure. Now, do, you, do you want to go to, is this something on your mind? Because now he's opening the door and he's saying, all right, something to do with, with Florida. Oh, you know what? Because my brother, my youngest brother, have four kids. They always go to Orlando. It makes was sense, he, yeah. Was he ever there with them? Um, no. Okay. No. He no. just he shows me Orlando. <laughs> um It's just, just, I feel that that's the Disneyland kind of energy. I feel yeah. like he's, he yeah. wants to say, you know, that was something that was, well, a lot of fun. And then decorations, he's just mentioning some kind of a decorations. Within his home, he had like the items from the Disneyland. Or he something likes that. Like that, 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 like a decoration neon light, he likes that. Okay. He likes to decorate, you know, like a Christmas tree, like, uh nail line by the window like yeah mm -hmm. yeah but but other than that he's a simple very simple man and um uh, is your name starts with a p uh my name like, starts with p so p like he Paul? is mm, e mm -hmm. e okay and this is would be your name starting with a p yeah to me, this, it's just the name that comes through from him is like, say like a Paul, like Paul, whether it's, I don't you think mean, You mean his name or my name? Someone's name. It's like either be, either starts as Paul or P-A-E, it's almost like. P-E, that's that he always call me, P. Is it L in there as well? In that yeah. name. His last name is uh I mean his last name of the word is with the L. Okay. L O Y. Yeah. <laughs> the L. With when they're when they're saying their name, sometimes I don't understand it because it it doesn't resonate with me, so I can just say it. So they begin to use all kinds of like short variations of different other sounds to help me come up with the right thing, whatever they're trying to say. And, and he did pass in June. Is it the 17th? Because I'm always asking for validation, something that I can really. No, he passed in February. 17th of June. What is that date? 
17. Hmm. I wasn't, I wasn't aware. June 17. I have to find out. Okay. June 17. 1 7. Whose birthday is on the 17th? Because sometimes I have to ask to talk about certain individual in your family. Mm, I wasn't sure, 17. I need to find out. But his okay. birthday is 16 though. 16 of June? July, July of 16. No, it's not that. June 17. Hmm. I need to find out. All right. So we'll we'll add, we'll hold on to this. The way that I love to ask spirits is to give me some validation for for what they're saying, right? To give me something that I can give you in the sense they will relate to it. You will relate to it. You will understand. Okay, this is this is all making sense because I can give you all kinds of general information. At the end of the day, I really want them to to channel to me the, the validation point, which I love always to give, sort of give people a sense that they're real. They're not just me talking to the wall. They're really uh, on the other side talking. Mm -hmm. And um, he, okay, so this is what I'm just asking for the messages. He says, explore the world. He really wants you to, to travel. He wants you to, travel explore the world and i feel like the the train situation it's not so much on the plane for you maybe perhaps travel in within the states or take the train rides do some kind of like a local training where training the train rides where you can you can explore the, the places and meet people and connect with them and have some more like connection with others by just getting yourself out there into the world. He will, you also need to write a book. He says, write your book. Write my book, that's interesting. He says, write your book. Um, and all you have to do is just put words. You don't know how to write the book. Or if you feel like you have like block in your mind, he just says, put words on the paper. Like literally write down words on paper and it's going to just flow. You have to, you don't have to think about anything. It's just going to flow. Um, everyday miracle. He says, do some kind of everyday miracle. It is mm -hmm. kind of like a point of exercise or, uh, but the word miracle comes in, comes through. Everyday miracle. <laughs> and some kind of a medicine or some supplement that you take it's not a medicine though. I feel like it's a, like a health supplement because you have to mix it in water yeah. and, and drink it. And you're like, Ugh, this is not, <laughs> he sees yeah. you doing this, but I feel like it's important for your health. And it's for like, just to keep the energy glow, uh, going. So keeping that, it's really, really good for you. Um, exercising also uh, gives you going out, I feel, one of those either elastic bands or something like that, where you kind of stretch your arms and uh, just just a general kind of moving around and then stretching. Um, what else? Meditation. He says, "I love you." Meditate. Just close your eyes and then go into silence and meditation. And this is very very good for you. It's very very healing for you. Uh, you should you know continue to love that just with daily practices okay what else uh you learn embrace the ways to love yourself even more each day i feel like self-love is you falling in love with yourself now you really begin to love who you are i really understand that you absolutely just that life is so real for you and it's you falling in love with life and you falling in love with yourself just being more and more aware of who you are as a spiritual being so this is also happening and go do marathons does this make sense to you yeah actually <laughs> yesterday the american heart association they have walk and run 
So I can't yeah. really run, but I walk. I did. Uh, That's like exactly what he said. Walk yesterday. It was so, like a t-shirt with like logos or yeah. like a marathon, and you guys yeah. were wearing these t-shirts. Yeah. So he's saying, do that. <laughs> Everything I have, even though it's not perfect, life is not never perfect. Life is always a challenge. And I wish everyone, you know, have a good health is more important than anything else. Even if you have, have money, you don't have health, it doesn't mean anything. So we come into this world, we have everybody have their own journey, their own life purpose. So we we just have to be happy. That's it. Just have to be happy. Exactly.